If you're talking basketball legends, it's impossible not to mention the name Scotty Pippen. Back from Pippen, oh! A monster jam! Oh, in his face! You can't do Scottie that! Scotty turns it in right in the lane. Oh! Scotty coming hard on the drive. Takes it all the way to the rack. Oh! Gives it to Pippen! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Known for taking the Chicago Bulls to six NBA titles, alongside fellow icons Michael Jordan and Dennis Rodman, not to mention Luke Longley. The Chicago Bulls! Sixth NBA championship, and it's their second three-peat. Pippen had a big hand in creating one of the greatest sporting dynasties in history, and his efforts earned him a Hall of Fame induction and a spot in the league top 50 players of all time. That 95-96 Bulls team is the greatest professional sports team I have ever seen in any league at any time. Now, on his first trip to Australia, Pippen is back on centre court, this time to launch the new NBL season. For all of this, I say... Thank God. Thank you. This is very exciting. Please welcome NBA legend Scotty Pippen! Hey, Scotty, I'm fascinated to ask you this question because whenever I've spoken to basketball people connected with, like, the NBL, they have surprised me by talking about how the NBL is actually quite popular and well-regarded by basketball fans in the United States. Can you either confirm that or explain it? Like, what, why would we have this reputation? Well, I think you, you guys have some great training here. Um, we saw uh, LaMelo Ball come over and um, do very well, uh, come back into the U.S. and get drafted very high. So we believe that uh, basketball here is definitely preparing a lot of the young players to help develop them in terms of preparing for the draft, but also preparing just for the NBA. Scotty, let's talk the Bulls, the amazing run they had in the 90s. What was it like to play with one of the greatest sporting teams of all time? Wow, that was a lot of fun. You know, um, looking back at basketball in the 90s, um, being a fan of the NBA for a numerous amount of years, I felt like that we really took the bull by the horn and uh, it was just some great times. Obviously, we had one of you guys, uh, native Luke Longley, played yeah. part of the second three-peat. So uh, it was a lot of fun. You know, I had an opportunity to play with Tony Kukoc, who was Croatian. So having that great international mix of players, uh, really helped us to, to grow the game globally. Imagine talking about a second three-peat. Mm. I just can't believe that you can even it. say. Do you think there will ever be a team that good again? No. I'm going to be a little selfish. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was probably one of the greatest runs in basketball that you were able to see. I, I think a lot of people don't realise that we won six titles in eight years. And two of those years, Michael Jordan had retired from the game. Do you know who I reckon might have been a better basketball team was the other team you played for, and that was the dream team. The US mm. national team in the 92 Olympics in Barcelona. I think you won every game by about 400 points, something like that. I mean, just that collection of players, <laughs> I, I don't... It was almost like watching all the superheroes gathered together. <laughs> when you were watching that team, even as part of it, could you believe what you were seeing? I really couldn't. Uh, to be honest, it was the first time that I had played international basketball. So for me, as well as a lot of my teammates who had never played uh, internationally, we didn't really understand the game. So we, we really had to learn the, the international side of playing in the Olympics on the fly. For you, Scotty, you obviously just spoke about the two Olympic gold medals. Where does that sit on all of your accolades? Obviously, your, your trophy cabinet would be absolutely insane. <laughs> but where do the Olympic medals sort of sit to you in, in importance? Well, I'm going to be honest. They kind of sit at the bottom. Oh! <laughs> Scotty! Oh! No! I mean, did we expect anything else? <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I just think... Uh, the amount of time and the work that you put in through an NBA season is much more valuable to me than putting together a super team for Olympics. No one expected us to win six titles with the Chicago Bulls. Mm. And that's what makes it more special to me. 
Uh, Scotty, we've got, uh, we've got a lot of kids watching. What advice would you give to kids today if they want to become an NBA legend, a two-time Olympic gold medalist such as yourself? What, what would you advise? Would it be work hard, be six foot eight? What else? What else do they need to do? <laughs> well, I think all that does help. But I, I think dreaming, I think dreaming is the most important thing of anything you want to do in life because it didn't just land here. Like, this was something that I dreamed about and I saw it happen. So when you arrive here, it's not a surprise to you. You've already dreamed this up. So I say that to say to young kids that want to play in the NBA, that want to work in a TV studio, that you, you have to dream this. You have to see yourself in that, in that atmosphere to believe that it can happen. Scotty, you've arrived at a really interesting time in Australia. Two huge footy grand finals this weekend. Very different shape to the basketball. <laughs> Are you going to make it to either of those finals? I'm going to make it to all the finals. Whoa, uh, this what? is a great weekend. I'm excited to be here, to be a part of all these events. So uh, expect to see me all over the city. Hey, um, I, I know you're, into, you're wearing the NBL uh, jacket, which is great. I mean, I'm excited to see Scotty Pippen in an NBL thing. This is amazing. The season kicks off tonight. What's, um, <laughs> what can we expect? Well, uh, I'm looking forward to tonight's game. Uh, I know that they have a lot of uh, prospects that are, we're, we're looking to go very high in the draft this year. So, um, it's going to be important for these players to have a, a great, healthy season to uh, help to build their, their, their value up. Uh, but for me, uh, I just like watching good team basketball. That's what it's all about. Now, before you go, I know you're only in Australia for a limited amount of time. And so I just wanted to ask you maybe on Wednesday nights, I play in a mixed five on five team. <laughs> and um, if you've got a spare time, I'd love you to come down, maybe play. Obviously, you start on the bench. We've got a full squad, but I'd love you to come. <laughs> <on play. laughs> uh, I'm, a, I'm out to take a rain check on that. <laughs> Well, See, that, that's why he's wearing his glasses, so you yeah. don't see him roll exactly. his eyes. Yeah, but, Scotty, it's good team basketball. Yeah, yeah I'm going to stay back and look and enjoy this this weekend. Uh, <laughs> okay. People, uh, the no hurts the second time more, yeah, let think, me tell you. I think he doesn't believe in no. team basketball. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, be, I'll be back in February. Oh, oh okay. okay. Would you come back on the desk? I mean, we might have to build another one just to make sure mm -hmm. you can fit uh, behind the desk, but would you come back and speak to us? Yes, for sure. Please right. invite That's, me back. Excellent. You can try to get him on your yeah, team yeah, then. Yeah, excellent. Hey, you can catch back-to-back uh, -back NBL action this Sunday on 10 Peach and 10 Play. Scotty Pippen, thanks so much for yeah. stopping by. Thank you, guys.